Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and ghouls, to another episode here uh, from your boys here at the Knights of War. Happy Thursday. We are just two days away from Midsummer Screams Presents Awakening the Spirits and one day away from someone's birthday on the channel. We don't know who. Or maybe they're pointing at themselves. I don't know. Only time will tell. Uh, but yes, um, so we, we are here for today. As I've mentioned, we're going to be talking about Awaken the Spirits. You probably saw that there in the title. Um, so they did release like a bit of like an FAQ today. No, before you go. So we just want to hit light, highlight a few points for y'all today. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, let you know what y'all need to know before we go. Yep. Uh, so uh, let's start here. Uh, I think my uh, our first bit of advice and... Uh, we're not going in order of what that newsletter said. Check your emails if you want to follow along. Um, but um, I think our first our first point is to download the Fan Guru app before you go, um, because it's going to be very important. Um, so you know what's going on in terms of panels, what's going down on the show floor, what vendors are there. It's a good way to plan ahead, um, so that you know what you're you're walking into and you're not super overwhelmed. I know that we've been doing some planning. I know that um, Tony has made me unofficially in charge of the app this weekend, <laughs> telling him where to be. Unofficially, it that was official. Oh, it's official. Oh my bad. I just, you know, I was trying to make it, you know, seem like you was, you know, what you're doing. But I'm unofficially official now, <laughs> <laughs> telling him where to. Be. This guy. Um, and so you can download that app. Uh, download that app on the Google Play Store, Apple Store. It's free. Um, and you'll get that whole schedule and um, event information. Um, and so I think the second thing we want to cover now uh, is probably what you all care about a little bit uh, is parking. Because um, for many of us, it's our first time going to the Pasadena Convention Center. So there's going to be a great little parking thing showing up now. Yes. Uh, with, I believe, Tony has counted them. How many? Five. Uh, five location, three outside of surrounding the convention, and two underneath behind the hotel where the convention's at. Yes. And per the newsletter um, email, it, parking should be roughly about $15. Um, so if you can do your math, 15 times 2 is? 30. Good job, Tony. Look at that. You, you passed today's test. You're going to get an A+. Plus. A little sticky face, a little sticky smiley face. Yeah. Making up for uh, last time when he just tells you his history. I do now, though. Do you? What what amendment was it? 18 and 21. There we go. Look at that. Learning the right way. Learning with the Knights of War. Uh, stay tuned to our second channel. Um, Knights of Education. <laughs> <laughs> Education of horror. Education of horror. <laughs> Education media. <laughs> oh man, that was fun. <laughs> so, um, parking's fifteen. If that is going to be a bit of a hazard, a bit of a a, a hazard or a delay or whatever you may want to call it, a barrier to overcome, there is another option, and that is the and fold line. I was gonna say Berlin made a song called Metro. Riding on all the metro. Oh, Riding on a copyright. That's what we call that one. Um, yeah, and you can sing that and annoy everyone on there. Yep. It'll be a great time. Including the conductors. Yes, yeah, so it'll be the gold line is what you would want to take. That would get you out to Pasadena. We got two stops, counting them one and two. The Del Mar Station and Memorial Park. Thank God I can read my writing still. For those of you that didn't know, this is our second take. Because audio needs to be recorded, apparently. It doesn't just happen <laughs> automatically, much to our dismay. Um, so there's that. Uh, and then a pro tip, typically at most um, metro locations, there is free parking. So if you uh, you know just happen to park there and you know, do a little walking, if walking, if that $15 is a barrier, that's eh. another option. And usually, I think with like the two-day pass for the train too, it's a little probably a little bit cheaper as well. Uh, so you get to you get the free parking with your thing, and then if you have that two-day pass, which is probably going to be worth your while because you, if you if you are going both days, so yeah, definitely. 
Um, and as you're probably aware, tickets are already sold out. Yes. Um, the last Sunday tickets have gone. So um, unless you can find someone selling their tickets, good luck getting in. Just don't be scammed. Yeah, don't be scammed. That's the important part. Um, and so probably what your next concern is, okay, cool. I got the fan guru app. I know about parking. What time should I be there? So what time does check-in start, Tony? Uh, 8.30. 8.30. So you're going to want to get there early um, because that's another important part because um, they're going to start scanning those tickets at 8.30, getting your wristband, getting you everything you need. Um, so that way when they open the doors, they're able to get as many people in there as quickly as possible. Um, so we got to thank all our white bats out there doing their job. Um, if you do need to catch them, what will they be wearing, Tony? An orange uh, shirt that says, uh, I think, uh, Creeps Squad. Creepy Squad. Yeah. Something like that. They're going to be wearing orange shirts. Orange shirts, and they have the words creepy on it, so. They'll be sticking out. Yeah. So, yeah. So, 930 is when check-in begins. So, you might want to get there a little early, get that parking, get in line, um, make sure you're wearing a mask, stay socially distant, chat it up to pass the time, because uh, that's going to be the best thing. Um, and what should you be wearing, Tony? What do you uh. Wearing? I highly recommend, you know, just obviously wear some good walking shoes. You're going to be walking the majority of the day. Yes, you can take your own breaks if you'd like, um, and there's going to be panels in between that will have you the option of sitting. Um, so wear some comfortable shoes. I uh, highly recommend some, you know, just some shorts and a T-shirt because uh, you are going to be waiting outside for long periods of time. It is probably going to be hot, so you want to dress comfortably according to the weather unless you're cosplaying or you just dress a certain way. That is on you. Uh, that's that's basically what I might be rocking. I may rock some pants. I don't know, but I, I would definitely. I always wear short sleeves. So, yeah, definitely. I'm on the same page. Shorts and a t-shirt is what I have planned. I have two wonderful shirts planned out for this weekend. So stay tuned. For that. see us in person for those. Merch link in bio. Merch link in bio. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so costumes are allowed, as Tony mentioned. Um, it will be. I don't know what the weather looks like. I I'm not in California. It's going to be hot and sunny. I can imagine. It. It's the summer. Um, so it'll be hot and sunny. But yeah, go or sunny. Yeah, hot and sunny. You heard it here. Um, that's a mix between Sammy and Summy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so costumes are allowed. Uh, masks will still be required with those costumes. No weapons, though. Um, they do They do highlight it. It's the vegan rule. They don't want anyone getting hurt. Um, so just do be prepared for that. Um, so don't bring your weapons. Otherwise... You're going to have to walk it back to your car, or it's going to now become property of Midsummer Screen. Or the Pasadena Convention Center. <laughs> yeah, so uh, be prepared. Quite potentially the uh, 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 LAPD. <laughs> yeah, so don't bring your weapons. Um, and so now you're in line. Um, what time are the doors opening? Um, so for all of us uh, Phantom VIPs, which me and Tony are, for show, or show floor C, 9.30 a.m. is when that will be opening. And the rest of the show floor will be opening for 10 a.m. for the Phantom VIP. For uh, those uh, folks that did purchase general admission, floor will be opening at 11 a.m. for you all. Um, the event will be running from officially 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Saturday and 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Sunday. It's going to be filled with a lot of fun, a lot of great panels, a lot of great vendors. So uh, make sure you show some love to everyone. Uh, show love to the community. So come ahead and bring a, a happy face and uh, uh, wanting to have a good time and good vibes. We're all there to have a good time. It's the first time we, most of us uh, are going to be getting out um, since huh, March of 2020. So uh, uh, let's you know try to keep those positive vibes. Um, and then, and also let's show some love to the vendors because. Many of them, you know, use that as a second income, you know, with losing midsummer in 2020 and in 2021. Uh, let's, you know, make sure to bring those wallets and have a good time. With, with that being said, anyone uh, making some custom Beetlejuice merch out there, uh, one of my good friend's birthday is coming up, and I have to get this person something uh, for her birthday, and why not something then something custom Beetlejuice? So if any of you vendors out there are going to be there, and are selling anything custom Beetlejuice or just Beetlejuice in general, DM us at the Knights of Horror on Instagram. Uh, 
I would love to go see all your guys' booths and support you and even put you in the vlog. So, appreciate that. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so hit us up. As he's mentioned, uh, the Knights of War on Instagram and Knights of War on Twitter. Either place, DM us, let us know. We're going to stop by. We're going to have a real good time. We're going to have party it up um, in that way. Um, and uh, also for me, I'm also going to be looking for stuff, too. Because, as I mentioned, it's someone's birthday. Um, and so I probably have to buy him a gift. So let me know what you got selling. And, you know, if it's if it fits the yeah, criteria. I heard he likes killer clowns from outer space. I heard he's a dummy, but that's the <laughs> <laughs> what did he pass today's test? Um, I think that covers all of my notes. Anything I've missed there, Tony? Nah, you got pretty much everything uh, nail on the coffin. Um, we just hope everyone has a great time. Be safe. Be smart. Um, give peace a chance. In the words of John Lennon, all you need is love. Um, love is all you need. We all live in a yellow, and we all live in a yellow suit. Uh, some of us do. Some of us get a little claustrophobic on the on certain rides at uh, at Disneyland. So you know. And I get by with a little help with my from my friends. So, yes. Um, you know all those all those words. All those um, words. But if you did like this video, go ahead and drop a like below. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to three thousand. So uh, help us make some dreams come true um, by hitting that subscribe button, uh, as well as turn those bell notifications on because we got a banger for you tomorrow. An absolute. Bang. Banger! Um, uh, your boy Tony did a phenomenal interview, even though I haven't seen it. I know it's going to be top notch with a very special guest, so stay tuned for that. Hit us up this weekend. We're going to be excited to see you all there at Awake the Spirits. Um, but if nothing else, we hope you all have a great rest of your Thursday. Peace. Peace and love. Moving into a dimension of